This is a follow-on video to the difference between an inverter generator and the AC wall power coming out of your house. I wanted to do a deeper dive on the instrumentation, the hardware and the software that I used to make those measurements. Now you saw in that, if you haven't seen that first video, there's a link in the description so you can go back and watch it. And if you have seen it, you saw that I used the same setup, so my laptop, hardware, and the same software program, and I moved between an AC wall outlet, an old inverter that I plugged into my car, and then the new, the new generator that I just bought that's an inverter generator that I've got running actually right now in my front yard. And what I used was a single slot compact DAC chassis. This is for data acquisition, so it measures sensors and signals, and it's modular. So all the different modules available, I grabbed one that does voltage. So this one is designed for 120 or 240 volts, so you can plug it straight into mains voltage pretty much anywhere in the world. It's USB powered, so that's why I've been able to walk all over and just plug it into my laptop, which has been nice and convenient. I still have it plugged into the generator, uh, and I'll, I'll use that as a signal as I, as I walk through the software real quick. Also, all these part numbers, uh, I'll, I'll drop into a link in the description as well. So this, I use LabVIEW to program this. Uh, it, was, it was great because LabVIEW is great for data acquisition. There's an electrical power suite that has all these calculations. Um, the only one that I really needed was the total harmonic distortion, so that was a pretty quick grab and drop. And then you, you, you saw from the user interface, it's, it's very simple and straightforward. Uh, I'll show the code here real quick. Uh, it's just a simple top loop doing the data acquisition and then sending it over a queue to the consumer loop. So it's a producer consumer setup. Uh, and then the bottom loop is the consumer and it's doing the simple math that's giving me the total harmonic distortion. I say simple, uh, it, was, it was easier for me because I could just drop it in. Uh, I certainly couldn't write a THD program from scratch. Okay, so go back to the front and you saw this in the first video, but if I run it, I've got a nice clean sine wave and I have this rigged to do uh, zero cross detection and then I can just select how many cycles I want to I want to view so I can just different ways to look at the, at the waveform. I'm trying to reproduce uh, a power scope. Uh, so pretty straightforward program. I did it with LabVIEW, Compact DAC, and a C-series module for high voltage. And that's how I measured the difference between waveforms in my wall, an AC outlet, my car, and an inverter generator. Thanks for checking out this video.